Welcome to Allergy and Asthma Network's Patient Learning Pathway Series. Today, we'll be looking at nasal polyps. What are nasal polyps? Nasal polyps are soft, painless, non-cancerous growths on the lining of your nasal passage or sinuses. They can hang down like teardrops or grapes. Nasal polyps happen most often in people with asthma and allergies, and in people who develop repeat infections or inflammation in nasal passages. Small nasal polyps may not cause symptoms or discomfort. Larger growths or groups of nasal polyps can block nasal passages. This can often lead to discomfort, breathing problems, loss of sense and smell, and frequent infections. Polyps develop after the mucous membranes lining the nose or sinuses change and become inflamed for a long time or inflammation reoccurs. Research and examination have found that some polyps contain eosinophils. Eosinophils are white blood cells linked to infections and can lead to allergic reactions. Common signs and symptoms of nasal polyps include runny nose, persistent stuffy nose feeling, headaches, loss of smell or taste, and nosebleeds. Additional symptoms include snoring and or pain in the upper teeth. Some people report a general sense of fullness in the forehead and face. How are nasal polyps diagnosed? The doctor will discuss your health history and ask about your symptoms, including how long you've had them and how much they impact your daily life. The doctor can look inside your nose using a thin, flexible tube with a camera and light called a nasal endoscope. Your doctor can also order a scan to look inside your sinuses. Allergy testing can help determine if allergies are playing a role in sinus or nasal inflammation. Sometimes a blood test is done to check vitamin D levels and blood eosinophils. Some people experience complications from nasal polyps. People with nasal polyps can develop obstructive sleep apnea. Sleep apnea is a disorder in which breathing is briefly and repeatedly interrupted during sleep. Additional complications include asthma flares and sinus infections. For more information, be sure to watch our Patient Learning Pathways program on treatment for nasal polyps. Join us soon for another Patient Learning Pathways presentation. Allergy and Asthma Network is working every day to end the needless death and suffering due to asthma, allergies, and related conditions through outreach, education, advocacy, and research.